Hi, uh, welcome back to the Fly Time Podcast. I'm going to tie a, a fly by Ed Eagle. Uh, Ed Eagle, if you don't know, is very famous for uh, fishing tail waters and being an advocate of uh, micro fly fishing. This fly is um, an olive by Dunn and um, is very, very simple to tie. Uh, it's about shape and silhouette. Is three or four different materials which I I will use in this. Um, I'm starting off with a TMC 101 size 20 hook. Um, though you can tie this fly down to a size uh, 22 or up to a size 18. Um, those are Ed's recommendations. Anyway, we'll just go on the hook. I'm going to go halfway. Um, trim off. I'm going to firstly add in some micro tail fibres. The good sulphur of which I have found is a paintbrush. Um, I imagine they're exactly the same as the ones you buy out of a fly tying shop at uh, about £6 for uh, probably 30 of them. Right, so just align them up on the top of the hook. I'm going to bring the tail down and in, like so. I'm going to separate the tail. I get the bend of the hook. Okay. Just take a turn of thread underneath it. Pull one microfiber one way, one microfiber the other. Bring that back. Support it, bring it down. And there you go. That tail is now spraying out. That will help support the fly whilst it's in the water. Just clip those off at the top. Now you can easily just colour those with a marker pen. Um, or you will find some of the brushes you can get. Here's a paintbrush. actually have dark fibres in them as well and you can just pick those out. The advantage of having on a paintbrush is if you pull your finger along the fibre as you're taking it taking it off the brush you can get them to curl up just as you would with a bit of nylon. Okay. Next stage is tie in an olive green uh, biot here. It's going to catch in at the tail end of it, wind forward about to there because we're going to put a little abdomen and we've got to get the CDC feathers in as well. So I'm going to wind that uh, along. And this will produce a segmented body along the hook. I've used a dark green one here. Um, I'm going to round it forward, catch, catch it in with a silk, and go back. Nothing worse than it's all unraveling. I'm going to cut that off as close as I possibly can get. Turn it around, trim again. Okay, so we now have the body. I'm just going to whip that down in a bit more. Okay. Now I'm going to take. Three or four CDC feathers. I'm 
line I'm just lining the tips up off camera here you want to do what I'm doing stroke them together so it comes nice and tight I'm going to get them so they're not necessarily all sprayed in the same direction just going to put one two three four turns around there and the purpose of this fly is actually the wing's going to sit up I want to bring that wing down so it's in proportion okay I'm going to come forward and underneath so it's nice and strong I'm going to snip off at the back now sometimes you'll see that as left or you can whip back over it I quite like to leave it because you just another point of buoyancy another spot of buoyancy was in it and then I'm going to use uh, a super fine dubbing this is a uh, grey green um, you can get uh, super fine dubbings from Waspy um, who I believe supply them to people like all this so okay, let's just take a bit behind behind the wing and I'm going to come underneath and that really just, just tip the wing up again now I'm just pulling that away from the, the thread pull it off there's a little bit there that will work its way back I know I usually do half hitch but I'm just going to go straight into a whip here because I don't want the head to be too heavy around the hook eye two last one three there you have it usual thing make a V in the scissors and snip it off and there you have it a little olive micro done of Ed Knox design totally fishable uh, in the UK and around the world wonderful little fly anyway thank you for watching um, hope to see you soon bye for now